management accounting relevant cost information. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our email address and our phone number. And also a good site at McGraw Hill where they have a uh, listing of accounting textbooks that you can access partially online. Here's a challenge to a person who's managing a business. Markets change quickly. And here's the way markets can change. Competitors can change prices. Customer preferences change. New products are introduced. And as a result, managers need tools to make short run decisions. They need to make decisions quickly and they need to be informed enough to make a good decision. That brings us to a new term called relevant cost information. And we can define that as costs that differ when choosing among two or more choices. Relevant means important to make a decision. One of the things that's not important when making these types of decisions are past costs or what we refer to in accounting as sunk costs, costs that have already occurred or will not change. Since we're looking forward, those costs, past costs and sunk costs are irrelevant. We've incurred them regardless of what decision we make. Therefore, we ignore them when considering what the relevant costs are. So the process for this decision making is collect information, eliminate the relevant information, and we'll give you an example a little later, and make your decision using what's relevant. That brings us to a second term called opportunity costs, which can be defined as the benefit by pursuing an alternative course of action. And I'm giving you a, a classic example that I've used in class and I've seen used before, and it's about education. Gail is a paralegal in a law firm. She is considering leaving her job to attend law school. So what does she lose? Well, she loses three years of income while she's a student. What she gains is after graduation, she will potentially earn more money as an attorney so that the lost income and the loan she takes out to attend law school will end up being less over the long term than the additional amount of money she makes each year as an attorney. So in the long run, she's better off. Now, opportunity costs are not recorded in the accounting records, but they are certainly relevant. They're certainly something we consider when making a decision. So here's my example on sunk costs versus out-of-pocket costs, which we'll say another word for relevant costs, out-of-pocket. Standard Plumbing is a plumbing company. He purchases a truck in 2005 for $20,000. And now it's 2009. And the owner of Standard Plumbing is considering adding staff to meet increased demand. And by adding staff, that means that the truck that he purchased in 05 will be driven more often. And he's considering the cost he's going to incur. The cost of the truck. It doesn't matter how much the truck is driven, the original cost remains the same, whether it's the old amount of use or the new increase in usage, which is why we say under relevant to the decision, no, it's not relevant, it's a sunk cost. In the same way at the bottom of the page, the cost to insure the truck is the same regardless of how much you drive it, so therefore it's not relevant, it's a sunk cost. However, the two costs in the middle will change. You drive the truck more, you're going to incur more gas expense, you drive the truck more, it's more use, it's more likely to break down, so your repair expense is going to go up. So in blue here, the monthly gas costs and the annual repair costs are relevant to the decision. The cost of the truck and the insurance are not relevant. And what we have to do is compare those increases in relevant costs with the amount of revenue that we would earn by driving the truck more and see if it's worth it. I want to end with a homework problem, and this is one I've used as an instructor for years. If you want to get an answer to the homework problem, you can always email me, Ken at stltest.net, for an answer. You've just won in class for years. We've all flown, let's think about Southwest Airlines. Flight 315 from Chicago to St. Louis is leaving the gate in 15 minutes, and there's somebody who'd like to buy a ticket and board. Bob, the businessman, would like to buy a ticket and board the flight because they have seating available. Looking at the list below, which of the following are sunk costs, past costs that aren't relevant, and which costs will change, which ones are relevant? And based on your answer and just knowing what you know about flying in general, 
Should we sell that ticket to Bob and let him board the plane? Or do the relevant costs for letting Bob board the plane outweigh the revenue that we're going to earn from the ticket? So here are the types of costs. Flight 315 is going to have pilot and other crew on the plane, and we're going to pay them salary. In fact, a airline steward friend of mine said that the clock starts running, the, the, the pay time clock starts running when the plane backs up from the gate. That's when you start paying people money in the airline business, so I'm told. The plane's fueled up. It's got enough fuel to get from St. Louis to Chicago. That's a cost we've incurred. Bob's going to, we're going to incur a cost for an in-flight meal for Bob, some type of food cost. We've also paid a fee to Lambert Field in St. Louis for the right to use the gate. Southwest Airlines is paying a fee to the airport to use the gate. So your question again is, should we sell that ticket to Bob, get the revenue from the ticket sale, or are the costs of having Bob on the plane higher than we would earn from the ticket sale? A classic question that I've asked people in the past to get across this point of relevant costs. That's the end of part eight of our management accounting course. You'll find part nine on YouTube, our YouTube channel where we have a complete listing of all of our videos on the home page, stltest.net. You can register for live one-on-one -on -one tutoring and chat sessions there. Our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL, all one word on YouTube. You can find all of our videos. And finally, at the bottom of the page, you'll see our email address on our phone number. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.